one of the roots of the equation, x squared plus kx minus 6 equals 0, is 3. One of the roots is 3. And k is a constant. However, can we compare the quantity a, value of k, and quantity b, negative 1? Seems like a bit of a long shot, right? How do we know anything if we don't actually know what number this is? Well, let's go on a journey of remembrance and let's remind ourselves how equations like this work. Just hypothetically, let's say you were told to solve an equation such as this one. Um, x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. The way you want to be approaching this is by factoring. This method should seem vaguely familiar to you. If not, well, consider yourself introduced. We can rewrite this equation in an equivalent form using an x and an x, and all we have to do is come up with two numbers to put here and here. Now when we figure out what those numbers are, we have arrived at the factored form. Okay. And the way we figure out those numbers is we make it so that they multiply to positive 10 in this case, and they add to 7. So they have to multiply to the number that's here, and they have to add to the number that's there. You can try and convince yourself that the two numbers we need here are positive 5 and positive 2. Starting from here. We may separate this equation into two parts, one where x plus 2 is equal to 0 and another where x plus 5 is equal to 0. By isolating x in both cases, we arrive at the solutions to the quadratic equation, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 5. They are the numbers that, when plugged in to the original expression, this one, will yield 0. Now, sometimes they are called solutions, and sometimes they are called roots. Okay, so roots slash solutions. So, just to be perfectly clear, I have here an equation, I have here a factored form of the equation, and after doing that, it's easy for me to get to the roots or solutions of the equations. Don't mix them up. You might note that the roots are very similar to the factors. The difference is that this says x equals negative 2, whereas one of the factors is x plus 2. Note the opposite signs. It is so important to remember how quadratic equations, that's equations of this form, work, because we are going to take advantage of it to solve this problem. It is not the case that the relationship cannot be determined, although that seems very tempting given the problem. No, what happens if we write out the given equation? x squared plus kx minus 6 equals 0. Well, if I were to try and solve it, I would try and factor it first. I would start with my format of x and x and, well, no, I don't know what numbers to put here exactly, because I don't know what numbers they need to add to, although I do know what numbers they need to multiply to. But I do know that one of the roots is 3. That means that after completing this process, I have a solution that says x is equal to 3. There would also be another one that I'm not sure about. But if one of the solutions is equal to 3, then one of the factors must be negative 3. That is what the pattern in my green example problem suggests. But if one of the factors is negative 3, what number multiplies with negative 3 to make negative 6? Well, it turns out there's only 1. And the answer that we need to put here is positive 2. Now that means, just on the side, that we now do know the other solution. We know that the other solution is in fact negative 2. But more on point with the problem, now we know, of course, that the sum of these two numbers is negative 1. 2 plus 3. Remember, we have to multiply to this number and add to this number. So from getting 2 plus 3, we can see that k must actually be equal to negative 1. Which means, miracle of miracles, the two quantities are in fact equal.